Hi all, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my, a flip through of my Art Journal Advent journal. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Art Journal Advent is another month long challenge. It is hosted by Michelle at Raspberry Blue Sky and Tamara at Mara Creative Studio. Uh, and it's a month long um, challenge, as I said, in December. So it's 31 days at the busiest time of the year, um, but it is really another opportunity during a busy time to make time for your art. So uh, I've done it now for a couple, I think this is my third year, and it's it's really been enjoyable. There is a reel on my Instagram uh, page on how I made the journal itself. It is compiled of all of these marketing materials that my son received during his college and university search uh, last year. So uh, the paper is so nice a quality and I saved all of them and used those to create this very flippy journal. Uh, so you can check out that reel um, on my Instagram page if you wanna see what it looked like before I started. And the, co the cover is a large piece of under paper that was on my art desk and I worked on top of, you know, in order to protect my surface. So I did add some stuff to it, but that is what this is. I love this page right here. I think that just is really cool. But this is what sits on my desk and I work on top of it. And this is the residual um, mess that's left behind. So for a closure, I put two slits in the sides here in the uh, creases and have the um, ribbon going through those so it can be tied. Let's dig in. So the first prompt was a door opens and I had this door from a magazine in my stash and used that. I'm not thrilled with this as a first page. This, uh, when I went to outline the door, it got messy and um, but it's okay, it's fine. Uh, so that was the first page. These are some of my florals from my Fabulous Florals class. The second prompt was just do it. And I had this, I have this ginormous stencil that said dream big. And you can dream and dream and dream, but at some point you have to just do it. These are stamps from uh, Dina Marissa. She has a Etsy shop. She's also on Instagram. I bought this from her. This is my favorite stamp these days. Uh, the prompt here was self-effective, and I took that to mean self-efficacy. I, I actually looked at the German and read what the translation was. Uh, so this is just a quote. Um, self-belief does not necessarily ensure success, but self-disbelief assuredly spawns failure. And this was sort of prompted by this cool paper that had these lines. And in looking at that, I thought, you know, it'd be cool to use those lines. I've seen other people do this style where they put quotes like that. And I just thought that was cool. So that's that page. This one was a question of perspective and I just have been so into striping and cutting strips of paper and I thought this gave a cool perspective. This was a floral I created in fodder school with Tiffany Sharp's class. This prompt was proud and I looked up, you know, there's a language of flowers and so I looked up what flower, if there was a flower connected to the word proud and the flower was amaryllis. And so I made some of these um, with watercolor and practiced making them um, and then just cut out some book pages for stems. This background was gifted to me by Julia Farrell in the paper exchange. So was this one. The papers she sent me were just stunning. This is Think Outside the Box and I um, was kind of struggling with what to do with this, but then I found this floral, which is a square shape. And I kind of liked that analogy of thinking, you know, looking at florals and thinking outside the box and using a square uh, as a floral, you know, so that was sort of the rationale behind this. Um, and I kept the background pretty simple because Julia's background was so pretty. The next one was um, boldness. So that's actually this one. And these were all made in a class with, um, is it Drew Steinbrenner, I think is his last name. And it was a fodder school class. And we made these really graphic 
uh, papers and so I put those together um, here I can even show you works in board books and this was the board book we made in that class so you can see how graphic it is it's really fun so I used some of those leftover papers I, I immediately thought of that when I thought of bold his designs are very bold the next day was transparency and I had a this was a stationary box. Um, actually, it was sympathy cards after my mom or dad passed away. Um, and so it was a box and I took the lid off the box because it had this nice plastic window. And so that's my transparency and I just made a cute little tag, again, using one of my florals um, from the Fabulous Florals. And this is all washi tape that we made in fodder school. So that was fun little interactive there. The next one was See the Good, and this was just me playing. I used some homemade washi tape here, which again is that striping. Another floral, that's a Dina Marissa stencil, and the um, sentiment just says, choose to see the good stuff. The prompt here was uh, Spotlight On. And I was really moving into the holiday spirit and I found these baubles in my stash. And so just um, focused on Christmas and the holidays and used those on a page. I had a small page here. The next was pause and reflect. And this one I created as part of, um, I was a guest on Under the Influence with Andrea Shebelu Shib with a work, of Heart, a work of Heart Studio. So I was really pleased to participate in that. And it's uh, basically a group of artists who get together and look at another artist's work and then they do art together while they're talking. Um, and so that was so much fun to participate in. And I was again into the pockets and so I made another pocket and this is a tag I had made previously with um, in Ricky Tiki Tavi's class. And I loved this quote, which I thought you know, spoke to the prompt of pa taking time to pause and reflect because the days are long, but the years are very short and things go by quickly. So you want to really take time while you're in the throes of it all to really reflect on, um, reflect on it and be present in the moment because it's going to pass. It's so fleeting. The next was fantasy world. So I created this page. I started again with some papers that I received from Jackie and Davidson, then just kind of pulled out, um, stencils and things that evoke to me a fantasy land and I found this sentiment about where the unicorn is which I suppose that's where the unicorn lives is in a fantasy land so um added that little birdie stencil I like how that one turned out the next was balance um and this piece of paper looked really cool it doesn't it doesn't translate on the page I thought it was a lovely subtle piece of paper but I'm not sure I'm that happy with it. And I just kind of played with the page and then found a quote that you can do anything, but not everything. You know, you have to have some balance in your life. You cannot do it all. Um, you can do whatever you want and you're capable, but you can't do it all at once, right? Um, okay, the next one was filter. This turn, this is my least favorite, and it's a shame because the paper I loved, again, it came from Julia Farrell, and I was thinking about light filtering and light filtering through trees, and I have this great birch stencil, and so I put that on this paper, um, and that was my concept of filter, but I just, I don't know, it's not my favorite, not my favorite page. Uh, okay, so here we're flipping into here, and the prompt here was, I am worthy. And this was another, this started out gorgeous paper from Julia Farrell. She just sent me the best envelope full of paper, and I was, I just kept using it. I was so inspired. Um, this is a tag I made. Um, the cluster came from Ricky Tiki Tavi's class in fodder school. This is a striped tag I made, which I think I have a video on making that tag. And I just played with stencils on this page. It's just really rich and lush and um, kind of added this little thing over here to tie it all in. Um, so I am worthy. This prompt was well-being and I was thinking, I've been thinking a lot about happiness and contentment and a lot of it 
has to do with your attitude and you know if you can just try and have a positive attitude an attitude of gratefulness um you know it's almost kind of fake it till you make it and if you go in with the right attitude that can really enhance your own well-being um and anyway that's what i was thinking this is an ink box card that i made recently and i have a video on my youtube channel of making those and so i loved that pop of orange it was a terrible day that day it was horrible weather rainy and stormy and so this was the citrus palette really was a nice pick me up for a crummy day the next prompt was where is it i don't know here it is um, all mixed up and it's funny because I was mixed up because I started working in blue because I thought I was working on a Care December prompt <laughs> which was the theme of Care December was blue and I had all my blue paints out and I just started working in blue um, but I like how this turned out a lot and then I found this funny quote not my circus not my monkeys and I was just thinking about a mixed up chaotic mess and that quote seemed to fit um, the next one is believe in yourself so that is, where is Believe in Yourself? Oh, here. Yeah, that's this one. Again, this is um, Dina Marissa's stencils, and I just kind of stenciled the hell out of this page and added a little cluster over here with a tag from Ricky's class. They said she couldn't, and so she did. So Believe in Yourself. The next prompt was, see, I'm even getting mixed up how my little flip book look, works. Oh, Your Story. Uh, so again, this was just, um, using some stencils. I actually striped the page to start with. This is a lace from my mom's slip and one of my, I thought this was kind of emblematic of me. I use a lot of these cone flowers in my work. So that's sort of my story. And the sentiment says a sweet story, her beautiful life. And I, it, I really feel like I am living a fairy tale life. I just feel really fortunate and I have a lovely life just feeling really really grateful these days the next one was grow and this just happened to be on this page we're growing and so I just kind of was thinking about a garden and did a real quick I didn't have a lot of time on this one um but did a real quick little garden and pulled out a bunch of my little whimsical florals and um stuck those in uh, again that's in my fabulous florals class if you're interested in those the next was Heartfelt, and this I happened to do right at Christmas, um, and again, I was into the striping, and I made a master sheet of striped kind of Christmassy paper and cut them into hearts, and they're hanging like ornaments, and so uh, just a heartfelt Merry Christmas, basically. Oh, this is really sticking. This prompt is paper poetry, and this was tissue paper that was part of a Trading Paper Pals package. That I received so I used that um, at much as you would a napkin and then added some stencils and some more um, decorative elements to it um, popped a flower on there and then went and pulled some different sentiments to kind of create um, some found poetry so it says on summer evenings the gate directed her to take the path that winds with flowers in her hair in gentle longing the meadow sweet and I thought this looked like a meadow so that fit. That's paper poetry. Okay, we're flipping back. Let's see, this goes here. This goes here. This was a savor the moment. Another beautiful piece of paper that I received from a trading paper pal. Um, and I created this tag a while back and it just fit perfectly the colors fit beautifully um, and it says make today count and that's kind of savor the moment you know just live in the moment and make it count and then the final page is here and that was our word for 2024 I'm not sure this is going to be my word I've been debating um, but I feel like I need to really start taking action on some of the goals that I have for myself moving forward. I feel like I've been in a bit of a holding pattern the last few years with COVID and with my parents being ill. Um, and so, and then I was in mourning and grief and really letting myself kind of go work through that. And it's time to move on. It's time to move forward, not move on, but move forward. And so anyway, I, I was thinking about 
you know, action. So that's that's what I came up with for this prompt. Whether I stick with it or not, I don't know. I'm going to have to decide, though. I only have a couple of days left. Um, this was a piece of paper. This whole thing was a piece of paper from um, a trading paper pal. And I just thought it was really pretty. I thought it had a vibrance to it um, that sort of suggested action. And I added the little marks around the word that I think makes it look like it's in motion as well. So... Um, that was, again, I didn't have a ton of time, <laughs> but that worked out beautifully. And then in the center here, I have all the prompts. Um, and that is my flippy journal for, um, art journal advent. I was really happy with how it turned out. I forgot to show you in the center here. Where is the center? It's so flippy. I don't even know how it works. You can see where I put the ribbon through these slots here and then glued this on top of it to really hold it in. And that's how my closure is working. And that is it. That is my journal. And that's all I have for today. I will be back again soon. Um, and in the meantime, you can always find me on Instagram at ebmixedmedia. That's eb underscore mixedmedia. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.